Hello there, my friend, and welcome back to more DML. We have the brand new ancient event starting in DML with Lisk Rising, Luzra Rising, Ancient Hunger, and uh, lots of things going on in general. We do have a bottomless dungeon with some dragons in it, but of course, the main part of the ancient event is the Dragon Board event. So, this is going to be our first look, and um, you know, these castles or these events work quite similarly to the castle events in terms of we've got the same tests that we have to do and uh, the only real difference being that we have to progress on a board instead. So of course we've got Ancient Soldan as the Ancient Dragon reward for this event on the Dragon Board. We've got the Amphibian, Indigo and Shadow Puff Dragons as rewards. We've also got Luzra as one of the Ancients available in, in this event. And Lisk is the Major Reward Dragon and we've also got Valkov in the ancient chest which will also be opening up and uh, mentioning Lisk very quickly before we jump into all this I do want to point out that currently for less than 24 hours the DML Instagram page is holding a competition or like an Instagram sort of mini event where if you use this Lisk uh, filter you can actually win a Lisk dragon I'm assuming very soon so um for those of us that probably won't get lucky and get Lisk in uh, you know, this event, you can actually uh, put in a, I guess, a part of, or a picture as part of the competition to try and win it. But anyway, like I said, we've got the Dragon Board event. So if we click play on this, you can see that this is the ancient Dragon Board. We've got a big compass there. Ooh, kind of, kind of weird. But we've got all these floating islands and... Um, it works the same as before. We've got purple tiles, yellow tiles, and blue tiles. And each tile represents the rarity of dragon that uh, you could possibly get out of that. Because you step on the tile, you get a key. And then when you get three keys, you can get a chest. So, um, essentially the purple one is the ancient keys. The yellow one is epic keys. And blue is the rare keys, which corresponds with each of these dragons. So, um, that's a thing. And uh, also, don't forget that when we're doing all of this ancient event stuff, we've also got the bingo. And it's really important that you do the bingo every day because you get bonus light stones, you get peace dragons, and you get stuff like gems. So we are going to be trying to finish off this bingo. And the way to finish off the bingo that we found is usually the best way is to focus on the green tiles as you're moving around the map. So um, I guess we'll do our first ever rolls as part of this event. And when you're going through this dragon board, you're probably also going to be wondering, is it better to step on the blue tiles? Is it better to step on the purple tiles? Which one should we be going for? And it depends on what your goal is for the game, essentially. Um, do you really want um, the ancient dragon, Golden? Because with all of these dragons... When we open a certain amount of chests, you will get them automatically. But I believe Soldan's, uh, like, 270 Indigo, uh, Amphibian, sorry, is a different one. Shadow Puff's a different one. And Indigo is actually the Double Trouble Reward Dragon. So, there's lots of different things going on. And, uh, it, it has shown that if you go purely for purple chests, it's going to increase your chance of getting Soldan. Because, you know, you'll be opening up more purple chests. So it makes sense but um at the same time it depends there are also breeding events going on with some of the earlier dragons but we're gonna do our first double trouble here because there are like 20 or 21 chapters in this double trouble so we're gonna do each of these as soon as they come up and back to the past again I wonder how many times Kronos is gonna do this to me if it knows I get indigestion where or when could Kronos have sent us this time? It's nothing like the water world we had to paddle through. Whoa, watch your step are you? We're so high up, I can't even see the ground from here. Ah! How does anyone live up here? I wonder. Unless it's just dragons? Hello, welcome to the world of light. Now, leave. Wow, that was not a, a nice introduction. I, I don't appreciate that at all, light dragon. You don't run these parts. Lisk does. Terrible. Terrible. I've only been here one second. I've already been forced away. Very sad. Very, very sad. So as you do these chapters, you'll see that you will unlock more of the story. And uh, 
So if you want to do all these battles, you can either spend gems to speed up or the way that you unlock more chapters is by getting double rolls on dice. And I do not believe that you can get double rolls by re-rolling dice. I'm going to try and re-roll to land on the green tile here. And we did succeed. And um, I'm actually going to take the yellow key here because that's going to give me a chest. And so we open that up and we get one piece of amphibium. So like I said, there's 350 pieces to get Amphibian, or if you open 200 chests, then you're guaranteed to get the dragon in your 200th. So again, it depends on which dragon you're going for, as how many chests you're going to open. So um, lots and lots of stuff happening. Also notice we've got two green checkpoints here, so I wonder how that's going to affect us in terms of finish off, fish, fishing off finishing off the bingo but you know sometimes i have actually struggled to get the epics just in these events so i would still rather go for the yellow piles just so that i don't miss out on any there we go we got a five for shadow that's cute i like it and there we go we got a four and that means that we're gonna get a purple chest which technically could have full 500 pieces for Solden. What is it going to be? A singular. Yes. On average, of course, it's going to be one piece usually, but you can get a full piece for Solden in every purple you open. You can get some big pieces, but every single purple chest could be the whole dragon. And like I said, 270 chests will guarantee Solden. So if you really, really want Solden, you should prioritize the purple tiles that you might end up struggling in other ways and maybe not finish double trouble if you do that so that is the dragon board and if you want to get more points you do these tasks in the bottom here so collect gold feed or collect food breed dragons feed dragons win battles catch creatures so you know most of that is pretty self-explanatory collecting gold you know you go and collect gold from your habitats pretty simple then we've got collecting food you can either use six hour food or one hour spring cherries work really well um I'm going to throw in some six out because I'm probably going to do a time skip in a second. And obviously catching creatures, click the creatures as you see them on the screen. So that shouldn't take you too long to do either. And then with feeding dragons, catch a new baby dragon, feed it up. That way you don't have to waste all of your food. Nice and easy. So that won't take a lot of food either. What level do we need to get him to? Level... Level 7, level 8-ish. Okay, that's that's going to be really cheap. Again, it's going to stay at 200 points. And then winning battles, again, super simple. You can either do regular map battles or you can do arena fights. And they will also give you the points. So, um, easy to get to 200 points. But it will reset every 6 hours. So, for the next entire month, we are going to be having to log into the game at least once every 6 hours. And that's the main thing that decides whether you get anything or nothing out of these events usually, if you're logging in every six hours or not. If you're going to miss one reset a day, your chances of getting the Ancient are usually really low. So keep that in mind. Um, that's what kind of sucks if you've got a really bad time frame. So I hope that you've got a good one going. If not, that's a bummer. And then of course we've got Breed Dragons and... Uh, for this, if you've ever wondered what the best combinations for breeding dragons are, I always suggest going to the DML wiki and then picking out a a previous solo event, and they always not solo event, castle event, and they always have the full sort of uh, listings for breeding dragons and how many points they give. So, for example, this should give us a list of all of the castle events that we've ever had. Okay, I've clicked on the True Blue Challenge because that is a previous castle event that we once had. And if I scroll down here, we have this section that's points for breeding dragons. And since we need 200, we can take a look at this table and it recommends that we breed 250 points a war dragon. Six hour timer, which is fire plus metal. So that is going to be perfectly in line with the event timers. So again, war dragons will be your friend during this event highly recommend that you use this combo. So we've got possible results. The only one that we could breed is a war dragon. Wonderful. 
that's going to give us the 200 that we need. So obviously while this entire event is going on, it's going to mean that uh, it's going to be really, really difficult to go for regular breeding during this time because your breeding den is going to be full with one dragon the whole month. So this is where using second breeding den tokens might be useful and if you've got any dragon of the month or dragon of the week to still breed you might want to take on a second breeding den during this period but you do need to be getting the 200 points for every single quest for every single reset and the reason for that being that when you collect all of these and you finish off all of these quests you'll actually unlock a bonus quest so the bonus quest this time is collect three epic keys in the Dragon Board event. And if we manage to complete this quest, we'll get 600 bonus event light stones. So we've got the bonus quest to do. We've got the bingo to do. And you've got to be paying attention to, you know, what chests you're opening up. So a lot of things to keep your mind on. But make sure you do that bonus quest every single reset. Just to give yourself some bonus light stones for free. So there we go, we got our bonus light stones for that, so we got a plus 600, and now we'd be back to focusing on doing the, the bingo. So usually when you're going to do the bonus quest, you want to at least have some bonus currency saved up. But, um, you know, depends on your situation, what you've been spending on, what you're doing. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of variables here. Yeah. And we do also have to reach the middle tile and land on that. So I'm going to try and get a two. A two if we can get one would be fantastic. Because I'm going to try and use my refreshers here. Sometimes the re-rolls will not be kind to you. That one wasn't too bad. So then we're going to stand on there, get our purple key, open up a chest. And then we got another singular piece. And then for doing a lap on this bingo board, we also get to unlock one chest of each type as well. So then we're going to open up this and ooh, we got some big divine mat. I like that. I like that. And singular pieces for all the other three. So that will happen every single time you go around the map. You'll get three more re-rolls and then you'll start again. So we did get one of the columns finished. So the first couple of bingos are probably going to be the hardest to finish because we don't have a lot of event currency to work with. If you want to guarantee that you're going to finish off particular days, then maybe you'd want to save up the event currency, say from today and tomorrow, and not worry about the bingo as much. But it depends on how desperate you are for gems, I suppose. You will be getting pieces for dragons, and you may really want those dragons as the month goes on. So, you know, again, it's all up to you how you want to handle it. And then as part of Ancient Hunger, we've got seven days to collect three rares, being Shadow Puff, Flame, and Neo Bone. And you'll notice that Neo Bone is a chest dragon, Flame was available in the bingo, and Shadow Puff is the rare dragon in the board. Which is the reason why some people might really, really want to push for getting Shadow Puff quickly. But then you won't be able to focus on getting the Ancient Solden Dragon. I didn't remember that I don't have picked it on Windows. This is going to suck because I'm not going to get him again. Oh well. This is where we are. This is how it is every time. But that is the general gist behind the Dragon Board event. So we do have the Ancient Island here as well. And for opening up the Ancient Island, um, get you started in Origin of Water. Okay, it's not Origin of Water, but... I get what they mean. Um, but if we open up the event page here, we do also have the ancient chests to get into. We've also got milestone rewards, which of course we've taken a look at these before. So we've got the regular rewards on the top and the re rewards in the bottom are only available to people that buy the shrine. And the thing about the shrine is, at the beginning of the event, it is on sale and it does generate light stones. So, the best time for you to buy this is as soon as possible because then you'll start earning light stones but the main usage for the shrine is to unlock all of these extra rewards but you still have to get up to a certain point milestone to actually get any value out of it. 
The main things that I want or would want out of this would be Toucan. I'd also want gems, the tickets, there's pieces of Valkov, there's also a breeding token for Blue Bloom, which I didn't actually get. So there's a few things that you might want to get out of this. But anyway, aside from that, I guess we'll open up our first ancient chest of this event. I will also add that there are two legendaries in this chest, along with Ancient Valkov, who is the only ancient I really wanted out of this event. And then there's two uh, two epics and the Neo Bone Dragon along with some event decorations, VIP tickets, and things like that. The drop rates are advertised here. So for every 100 chests opened, you should expect to have 20 Ancient Dragon pieces. So 20 pieces of Valkov for every 100 Ancient chests opened. And Valkov requires 500 pieces. So that's a lot of chests. Uh, usually the only way you can hope for Valkov is getting a full drop or two big drops. So, um, good luck. <laughs> good luck is all I have to say. Best of luck to you. So we'll see what we get out of this chest. Looks like not a whole lot of anything. But I do want that legendary soft dragon as well. We didn't even get any ancient pieces. We just got epic pieces. I've already got the epics. I've already got the rare. I don't really, I don't really want those. Why is it showing the, 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 the spinny thing on the chest when there's no ancient pieces in it? Usually it only does that when there's ancient pieces in the chest, but hey, I guess it's just doing it for everything. But anyway, that is the basics of this event for now with most of the available dragons. One other thing you'll note is that there is also the Bottomless Dungeon, which advertises that it's going to have dungeon tickets in it and there is going to be a second week of dungeon tickets in here so the way that you can keep track of this is the event schedules that are posted on the forums we've also got the full schedule which is advertised so if we go down to here november 9th to the 16th and november 30th to december the 7th is the special ancient dungeon so they're going to have weekly editions of the bo Bottomless Dungeon through the month, but on these two weeks we'll have special Ancient Dungeons where you'll find Ancient Tickets inside every chest with a dungeon. So, this is one of those weeks, so you really, really want to be grinding this dungeon as much as possible. So the best dragons for this are going to be, you know, Wonder Acceptance Dragons. You're going to want to go into this dungeon and just get as many, many points as you can. Because, again, with us getting bonus ancient tickets out of the dungeon, that's going to be a good way for you to give yourself the best chance of getting the soft dragon, uh, the other, the deco dragon, and potentially Valkov, even though it's unlikely. But this is what we've had before, what you're going to have to do again. Obviously, if you don't do any of the dungeon, it's going to mean that you're going to be less likely to get some of those ancient dragons and epics and new legendaries out of the chest. So, if you want to give yourself the best chance of getting as many dragons as possible, you're going to be having to do the dungeon every six hours as well. Which means that we've got um, overall pools are every six hours when you're going to have to log in at least once. And we've got the dungeon that's on a six hour cooldown. And we've obviously got, you know, ruins which are on a six hour cooldown. And keeping everything to a six hour cooldown in general so maybe you six hour food probably be the easiest way you know keep yourself in time with all of the event timers so overall is much any different from the previous water ancient event no the only real difference this time around is that they have reduced the amount of chests it's going to take to get the solden dragon the dragon board dragon Apart from that, it's pretty much the same. So if you were here for the Water Ancient event, you'll probably know how this is going to go down. But it is an entire month of grinding. So I do wish you the best of luck. I hope that you get everything that you want out of it. But main things to focus on this week is doing your daily Dragon Board stuff, bingos, and doing the dungeon. They're going to be the best things like at this point 
if you're someone that feels like there's too much going on, then this might be a time where you don't really focus on doing map battles as much or encampment battles, and instead just focus on doing the actual event stuff. That's that's how I tend to keep myself in DML. If you think there's just too much of this and too much of that, and plus arena and everything else on top, just pick the things that are important right now. And you know, if you can get yourself a free ancient, why not? Why not go for it? Because, again, anyone can get a full drop for a dragon. Anyone can get big drops for a dragon in general. So you might as well at least give it a little bit of a go. Maybe you'll get super lucky. Maybe you won't. But better than not at all. So, uh, we'll form one more weak attack and then we'll get another quest. Do I even have any dragons that I don't have anything to weak attack against right now? But, you know... With the dungeon, do remember that there's also... It can get annoying with a dungeon when it just doesn't give you the tasks that you want. But I'm sure most of us at this point are quite familiar with the dungeon and how it all works. Just, I hope you get good tasks. I hope that your dragons are good for doing the dungeon this week. And just remember to log in every six hours. Just with the dungeon, I do get kind of lazy with doing it at night time because especially with the timers now for me I believe the timers are at six o'clock midday so 12 o'clock and six o'clock are when my timers are which means I'm either gonna have to wake up before 6 a.m to um the morning refresh or I'm gonna have to stay up past midnight to do the morning refresh and either late at night or early in the morning I sometimes I'm not in the mood to do the dungeon but you know, that's where you got to decide. Is it worth you logging in all the time, doing dungeon, getting those ancient tickets? If not, I guess you could just ignore the ancient chest completely. Just try and go for the board dragons, but then guaranteed no lisk. Oh, unless you win it off of that Instagram competition. I guess that's another possibility. Ignore the entire event, win lisk out of the competition. There you go. You're a winner. Sounds like a good plan. That'll sound like a fantastic plan. Then you could just ignore the whole event for the whole month, right? You just get Lisk for free. I don't know, I wouldn't even really want to use Lisk. I probably would if I did get Lisk, but at least Valkov has a new element for my team. Oh well. You know, I'm going to leave this battle for now, and then obviously it's going to refresh in 10 minutes, so then we're going to go and open up a chest. What do we get? Um, Four ancient tickets. Definitely going to take those instead of trinkets. And like it said, there should be ancient tickets in every single chest that you open up. Another four out of this one. Not bad. And uh, sometimes going into the blue ones, they don't give as many as you'd expect. But six ancient tickets out of the green. Again, not bad. Um, let's go and open up another red instead of opening up that blue. Because I don't have enough currency to open up that one yet. So sad. So sad. But this is going to be my life for the next, you know, month and for this week just doing dungeon. So that's a few more tickets. That's going to be great for us. So make sure you get your fight bonuses up. Open up more ancient chests. Rinse and repeat. We've got another 22. Come on, give me ancient pieces. None? Is it? Is it just broken? Is, is it just broken right now? Is it just not giving me any ancient or legendary pieces? Is it when it's meant to? Okay, no. I was just exceedingly unlucky. What the heck? I at least expected one legendary or whatever piece. Well, either way, we've got a hippo dragon. Guess I can't complain. We've got one piece for soft, one piece for Valkov, and uh, a hippo is already done. I guess we can hatch him. I don't really know why I'd want to have another one, but... Man, I'm getting sick of these epic pieces already. And don't forget, we do get bonus chests for every 25 opened, and we do also get three pieces of Valkov for every 100 ancient chests that we open. So you do get tiny additional freebies. Not that it's going to make much difference, but you will get a couple. But, you know, I guess the only other thing to really mention is that Luzra is probably going to be one of the easier dragons to get, but Luzra will require the double trouble dragon. It will also require the soft dragon out of the chest, along with amphibian off the board and shadow puff off the board. So usually during these events, 
the collection dragon, so Lazra and Soldan, the board dragon, are the easier ancients to get. But, I don't know, since it requires Shadow Puff to get Lazra, it's probably going to end up being easier to get Soldan from the guaranteed 270 chests. So, um, keep all of that in mind when you're progressing through this month. And we also have a clan event, so we've got that to do as well. Ah, oh, it's just never ending. It's just never ending. There's just so much everywhere to do all the time. But anyway, I think that is going to do me for now. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you take part in that Instagram competition, whatever it they, you want to call it. I don't know if it's a sweepstakes. That's the, that's the word that they like to use, sweepstakes. So take a picture of you being Lisk and then maybe you'll win a Lisk. Sounds fantastic. I did post my own earlier. Um... But, um, you know, it's up to you whether you want to potentially win a new dragon or not. Up to you. But for now, I appreciate you being here. I'm sorry if the audio was any different or weird. My PC died and I set up the whole thing. So, um, I'm hoping that it's not too broken and we could still use it again. But it might require a little bit of changing things around. So let me know if there are any issues with audio or anything like that. But for now, I appreciate you being here. Thank you, my friend, and until next time, I do hope to see you then.